We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good. So for all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, so I want to come on here and talk about the whole Wendy Williams, Nick Cannon situation. So if you guys don't know, Nick Cannon has been tapped on the shoulder to take over for Wendy Williams while she's been out. There's only been one recent sighting of Wendy Williams and she kind of looked like she's going through it. But Nick Cannon is here to save the day. And so far, it seems like a lot of people on social media, the audience members, they seem to really be liking Nick Cannon. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch some of these clips. Check this out. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. And I got to say it off top, y'all. I got to say it. Everybody want to know. I spoke to Wendy. I talked to her. And honestly, she sounded amazing, y'all. She... We jumped on the phone. And first thing she said, Nick Cannon, how you doing? I didn't go out that right time. So, and honestly, I, I didn't know what to expect at first. But her spirit was so big. It was so amazing. And you know what was also really awesome? We had, I had a conversation with her and her whole family, and she said she wanted to speak as a family unit. Her, I talked to Kevin, little Kevin. They said they all good. The love and the passion is still there. Because that's what you need in times like this, is your family to stick together with you. And honestly, it, we, we talked, and it got a little emotional. It did, because when I spoke to her, she just said she feels y'all love. All right, so you guys just saw Nick Cannon and his introduction and how he said that he's spoken to Wendy and that Wendy is doing good. When now it's being reported by the UK Daily Mail that a couple of Wendy's trusted staff members are definitely in their feelings, okay? So this is what the UK Daily Mail is reporting. They go on to say that Wendy Williams show staffers are outraged at the selfish, hypocritical star calling her stand-in Nick Cannon during her absence but refusing to speak to her long-term employees about the show's future. The 54-year-old is currently on an extended hiatus from her daytime talk show due to alleged medical problems stemming from complications from her Graves' disease, according to the statement released on Friday, January 18th. In her absence, executives have brought in a rotating cast of temporary hosts, including Nick Cannon, who told her audience on Monday that he spoke to Williams and her husband, Kevin Hunter, saying that she was doing amazing and praised her family unit. But the production insiders tore into Wendy Williams for keeping them in the dark as they cast doubt over her illness and blasted her for refusing to address what was happening with the show amid speculations that she was splitting from her cheating husband. So they're saying that one staffer told them this, the staffer says, many of us have been here since the early days. It's a complete joke to be left in the dark like this. How could she be so selfish? We rely on this paycheck. I mean, please. She's made a fortune from tearing people down. However, when it comes to her own life, it's a secret. Imagine if this was another celebrity living their life like she does. She'd be sipping tea and talking about it on Hot Topics every damn day. She's such a hypocrite. Another staffer says she managed to keep the real reason for her absence a secret. However, you can't leak something that no one knows. She allegedly picked up the phone for Nick Cannon, but she can't tell us what's going on. For her to be talking about her family unit to Nick is an absolute joke. That ain't no normal family unit. Honey. So as you guys can see, her staffers are not here for the fuck shit, okay? They are definitely feeling some type of way. And I honestly don't blame them if this story is true, because after all, it is coming from the UK Daily Mail. So you got to take everything they report with a grain of damn salt. But they were the ones who first reported that Kevin Hunter had a whole mistress for 10 years, and that report was actually accurate. So kudos to y'all for that shit, okay? But I definitely see where the staffers are coming from. If I am part of your long-term team and we've been together from day one, you know, and I'm working, getting you stories, you know, that I'm taking from other damn YouTubers and off the internet and I'm doing all this work to make your brand what it is, the least you could do is answer my phone call. I'm sure her and Nick Cannon are cool, but I'm sure they're not best friends. She probably don't talk to Nick Cannon every day. So for Nick Cannon to say that he spoke to Wendy, he spoke to the husband, I could definitely see why the staffers are feeling some type of way because they're trying to call Wendy. They're probably trying to call Kevin to see if they'll have a job 
job next month to see if the Wendy show will continue happening in 2019. But as of now, you know, everything's up in the air. So I definitely see where they're coming from. So this entire situation is crazy. But I do think that Nick Cannon is actually doing a good job, you know, hosting the Wendy Williams show. Hopefully the networks don't get too comfortable with Nick and Wendy's place and they decide to replace her with Nick. Okay, now that would be some damn tea for that ass. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Wendy Stafford is feeling some type of way about Nick Cannon getting a chance to talk to the queen of talk, but then her refusing to talk to her own damn staffers. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. <laughs> hey you guys it's your girl t and i hope you really enjoyed that video if you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals definitely feel free to click my description box there's plenty of information in there please stay tuned for the next video talk to y'all later